Since I was a little girl, I've always been attracted by the sea. My parents took me on a sailing boat when I was just 11 days old. And from that moment on, if it had been up to me, I would have never got off. I learned to walk along the drapes of the sailboat, learned to swim and free dive off the boat. I developed deep down inside me a sense of respect for the environment, not just the marine environment, along with the duty to protect it. From primary school all the way to university, I took every opportunity to learn more about the sea and the marine environment. Everyone knew that for any research paper, term paper, or even for my master's degree, I would have chosen a topic related to the sea. Even when I found myself struggling to identify a topic for my papers and assignments, whether it was philosophy, science, or law, my compass always led me back to the sea. I continued to go sailing with my parents whenever I had the chance to do so. Since I moved to Copenhagen, I've also started sailing every week on old wooden boats. Sailing can be many things, and many people label it as a luxury activity. I believe that in many ways it is not. For example, when you're sailing in a storm on an open boat, or spending sleepless nights watching over the anchor, or having to conserve water and electricity and giving up on all comforts. I see sailing as a way of life for those who want to get away from civilization because they are drawn to the sea. But the sea is not always calm and quiet. The sea is mostly a hostile environment. The marine weather makes navigation dangerous and the environment itself, due to water and salt, destroys, corrodes and ruins everything that floats on it. To fully and responsibly experience the sea and sailing requires a great deal of learning and experience in a multitude of areas. You need to know how to steer the boat, adjusting the sails to the wind, learning to decipher the weather and securing the boat and the crew when a gale strikes. You need to know the functioning and specifications of every single instrument and tool on board and to be able to dismantle, repair and reassemble just about everything, being aware that there is always, always, always something to repair on board. It is necessary to adapt to a simpler life with less comfort and more difficulty. What could possibly drive a person to choose such a life? The love for the sea and the desire for freedom. The big project I've been working on for such a long time is to buy a sailboat and move on it. My boyfriend and I have both worked and saved up for years in order to be able to afford to buy a sailboat with our own financial means. And now, finally, we have been able to get our own sailboat, which is about to become our home. Therefore, we have decided to leave Copenhagen and move aboard, and we will keep the boat in Italy, in Sicily. Although it would be nice to sail all the time and travel the world, we decided to be realistic and cautious with our project. After working hard for the last few years, and partially thanks to the spread of smart working, both our employers have agreed to allow us to work remotely from Italy for longer periods. We will therefore keep the same jobs and continue to finance our lives by working, but we will do it from the boat. And in the meantime, we will learn as much as we can about the boat and start to gain experience in navigation and maintenance on our own without exposing ourselves to risks. From time to time, we will return to Copenhagen, where we will keep the apartment because many aspects of our lives are linked to this city. It is certainly a radical change of life for both of us, but let's try to do it responsibly making the most out of what we have and not throwing it all away for what may seem like a crazy project. And it is not a crazy project, it's a dream which has been with us for a very long time and now is becoming a reality. Friends, I call you like this because this is what you are if you have been following me until now and you will continue to follow me in the future. So friends, uh, I hope that now my project is clear to you and if you know me, if you have followed me for some time, you probably know that this is a part of me 
that I've had inside for a very long time and that I have hidden in a way and now I am ready to express. And I cannot contain my joy because moving on a sailboat has been a dream of mine for so long and now I cannot believe that it is becoming reality, it is there, I can basically touch it. Uh, that's just uh, crazy and unbelievable for me. And I also feel very lucky because I have a great online community to share it with. And I hope that by making videos in English, I will help this community to grow uh, so as to include amazing people across the entire world. Inside me, I feel that this is a very important stage of my path of personal growth because it represents a full and true acceptance of myself and also of those parts of myself that before I thought I had to hide from society, from the other people. Those parts that I thought were not compliant with the standards imposed by society. And at this stage, I'm also witnessing inside myself a annihilation of that fear of not being enough, of not respecting the requirements for being, for existing. Um, yeah, and this is a very big realization for me uh, in terms of personal growth. I will continue to share my path. I will tell you how my boyfriend and I bought a sailboat together um, and how we are going to live our first big sailing adventure. We bought a boat in the north of Italy, in the Ligurian Sea, uh, by Cinque Terre, La Spezia. And we want to sail it all the way down to Sicily. And this is, of course, a huge adventure for us. And this is the longest I've ever sailed in my life. So um, I really have that feeling inside me of stepping out of my comfort zone, which is a good feeling, a feeling of excitement, but also a bit of a scary feeling. Um, but I'm very happy. It's just that happiness can be made up of many, of many different feelings. So every Thursday there will be a new English video on the channel and every Sunday a new Italian video. On the channel you can expect to see a lot of adventures at sea, a lot of boat life, but also adventures on land because we will explore and visit many beautiful places. I will also share my daily life online. I will show you how I work, study on the boat. So a lot of productivity in a boat life version. I will keep talking about productivity and tell you all about the books I read. There will also be um, a book club on the channel. I started a book club in Italian and I will also introduce an English book club. One additional topic that I will introduce is the one of sustainability and protection of the marine environment because I really want to ensure that my transition to boat life uh, doesn't have an impact on the marine environment. I've always cared about the marine environment and I've always wanted to give a positive contribution to its protection. Um, and uh, I have done a lot of research in the past also um, in connection with my legal studies uh, and now I want to continue to collect information and share knowledge online in order to help and inspire other people to protect the marine environment. So Jujissima is still gonna be Jujissima but a bit more of a complete version of herself. With this channel, with my Instagram content and with my blog, I leave you the link down below, uh, I really want to inspire you to accept yourself, to love yourself and to love life because uh, it gives us a lot of amazing possibilities um, and to fight for what you believe in, for your ideals and not for the ideals that other people or society tries to impose on you. So live in the present, accept yourself and believe in yourself. Next Sunday I will tell you everything about how my boyfriend and I uh, bought a sailboat and I will show you a uh, moving vlog. So we'll be moving aboard uh, uh, there's gonna be a lot of um, maintenance, a lot of cleaning, a lot of uh, yeah, handwork and uh, we will be buying some marine supplies so you will see all that. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to follow my adventure in real time um, and I think that when this video is out we will be sailing south towards Sicily if the weather is good so check out where we are right now. Meanwhile I'll hug you tight and I'll see you in the next video.